Well, Mama, this is for you. Happy Mother's Day. And I love you so much. I just um, wanted to uh, dedicate this song to you. On Christ, the solid rock I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. <clears throat> My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I tr dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. And uh, when darkness veils his lovely face, I rest on your unchanging grace. <clears throat> I just wanted to um, dedicate this song to you. It's been on my mind and my heart today. And uh, wow, uh, Mama, you've shown me over and over again who your rock is. I've seen you go through incredible pain and come out the other side loving your Jesus even more being steadfast in him. I have, I have such uh, good memories of uh, you having us sit around the living room growing up and reading the Bible together, taking turns going through the whole Bible. You know, I, I'm not afraid to pronounce the big heavy, na heavy duty names in Leviticus because, you know, we just plowed through it. You had us do it. And um, you're a strong mama. You're probably one of the strongest women I know. Um, you taught us to work hard. And uh, I remember you started a leaf raking business with us kids when I was in junior high, maybe. You wanted to teach us uh, the value of hard work and earning some income. And I remember, um, I remember the hard work and just how you poured yourself into that and you taught us so much. Um, just, that's just one example, but um, you were never afraid to try new things. And uh, you and dad have just um, lived a very, a very wonderful, interesting um, life that we got to grow up and be around. And uh, the stories could go on and on. I mean, just the creative inventions you've made over the years, uh, from drying spice racks to new ways to, to build things, to design things, to um, gardening. It's been a huge passion and love, and you've taught us how to grow things. And um, you know, just uh, the list could go on and on. I could talk all talk all night about that, but but I'm grateful tonight, Mom, that um, your hope is in Christ. I think of uh, when amyloidosis hit you about ten years ago. Now, um, you know, you went through some extraordinary battles with that and extraordinary pain, and God brought you through that, and you glorified Him in that. Um, and I just, I just praise God that your faith has been strong. Um, I praise God that, that I know that he's holding on to you, Mom. About 10 years ago or so, or 11 years ago, um, God used you in my life to introduce me to uh, the most wonderful man in my life besides Dad, and that would be Trevor. And uh, what a blessing. Uh, he has been in my life and God used you to bring that about and um, I just uh, and Carolyn Stonehawker and and others but I just um, I have a lot to be thankful for today and I just my hair is kind of fried and frizzy and the kids are all happy at the moment eating supper but I wanted to play this song for you mama and um, I praise God that you guys that we have a solid rock that we can stand on that our hope is in Christ, and I've seen an authentic God who has has been, has been holding up your life, Mom, and that's been a testimony to me and a reality to me, um, and uh, I've seen Christ through you and through Dad, and uh, anyway, this song is for you. Praise God that our hope is built on something more than the latest and greatest and more than what we hope we can find is truth in this world and through media or whatever. It, we don't have to rely on that. We have, we have Christ, we have God, we have the Holy Spirit, the wonderful counselor who's not given us a spirit of fear, you guys, but of power, of love, of a sound mind. We have that hope in Christ. He is our solid rock. And, um, you know, praise God for that. If you are, are skeptical of Christianity, you're wondering why do these people even believe this stuff uh, do I really believe it uh, do, do they really believe it 
um, uh, call, call me up sometime and um, I'd love to share with you more about my own walk with the Lord. It ain't perfect, but I can tell you Jesus has been real in my life, has answered prayer in my life, and uh, I, could, I could tell you countless stories of that. And um, I just praise God that um, the things that we can't see, they can be real for sure. And uh, I'm so encouraged that the things that we taste, touch, and feel are not everything that defines truth. What defines truth is the truth giver, and that is God himself, and he is good. And uh, we have great hope in our solid rock. And uh, that's not just a bunch of mumbo jumbo, guys. It's a reality. It's true. And, um, and it's exciting. So I hope this song is a blessing. Happy Mother's Day, Mama. You can pray that the ants go away. They are crawling on me right now. We have ants galore. So I'm going to try to play this song. And the ants will have to just enjoy feasting on me while I play because I'm not putting the bow down to brush the ants aside. So if you see one crawling up my face, you'll know what's going on. Just kidding. But that is the least, least of my concerns. There are people going through far worse trials today. And... Um, this song is for you. And for every one of you, love you guys. Enjoy. <clears throat> Happy Mother's Day to all of you mamas out there and ladies out there who are mothers in more ways than just having children. You are a blessing to the people in your lives. For all the ladies who have, have uh, come, up, come alongside me in my life and ministered to me, um, I can't even remember all the names. And if I even start, I'll probably miss some. But I especially want to say Happy Mother's Day to my own mama. And also to Patsy Redden, my dear mother-in-law. You ladies both mean the world to me. And uh, I am so grateful. And um, happy Mother's Day. Love you all. <laughs> 